Hey guys, if you want to join the TRF tournament, I am live streaming it, and it starts at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. What's up guys, Shuri here, and today we are playing the North American tournament. This is the finals. I am playing with Mixed, which is Jose, Miklo, and Mussolini, and we are playing against Back to Back and Joel Shere Khan. That is who we just killed right there. He did a great job getting the first strike. Our team's doing a really good job with the teamwork. Right there, I thought I had killed Rob, but I didn't. So, Grosha comes up and does kill him for me. I am going to be going back and forth right here and just doing my best to get people low. I realize that he's probably going to rock it. I was correct. So, good thing I backed up there. And I'm just going to do whatever I can to put out a little bit of damage for everybody on my team to get a little bit of help. They call a guy on the left, so I do my best to get there. Rob doing an amazing job with the Orion to get right in the range that he needs to to kill me. And I just played it wrong. But I'm going to come out here with the Quicksilver with a uh, Porcupine backup, try to help my team out, see what I can do. And right here, I come out, do end up getting the kill. Thankfully, I was able to kill him and get the guy in the middle a little bit low on his armor. My team comes back to regroup and we call out what we see. And that's really what we're going to do is we're going to go out, we're going to get kills, and then we're all going to regroup and basically just fight as a team at our strongest and try to fight them one-on-one -on -one at their weakest. And that strategy works really well sometimes, and then sometimes Lord Beast will come up and give you a fort once in the back. But um, either way, uh, it's what we're doing against this team. Luckily, there is no Lord Beerus, so we don't have to worry about that. But we're going to go up, and I'm going to check through the middle. Somebody does actually call through the middle. That's why I'm waiting right here. And I do end up seeing him. I can't hit him there. Um, he ends up getting me with a rocket, doing a great job. Jules gets the killing spree, but immediately Jose does kill him and gets the headshot combo breaker, which basically makes the points just not matter which is great. If you ever get somebody on a killing spree, you have to get a headshot or merciless on the elimination. That way that you will get your bonus points. Right here, we're getting Rob low and we are able to kill him before we back up. I'm not sure where I'm getting killed there. Uh, I think it ends up being Sunburst that's shooting me, but it was very confusing and I'm gonna try to push up right here. I do see him and kill him with my Quicksilver. And I immediately start going out to go try to help on the right side. I don't see him. Luckily, I'm able to see the guy on the right. I don't know who killed me there, but I don't think it was the guy I was shooting. Not 100% sure, but it was great teamwork on their side no matter what. And again, Jules just going hard. He does end up getting the double. And we're going to push up to try to see if he's still in the middle. We do see him, and our gun shoots a little bit late, not registering the right way. That happens a lot against Jules for me. I don't know why. But I assume that since he's playing on my server, it's worse for him than it is for me. So I try not to get too mad about it. But uh, And also try to be very aware that when I try to snipe jewels, half the time my stuff does not register properly. And like, just something you need to be aware of. Like right there, like when I put that over the guy's head for the third shot, it should have killed him. And sometimes things just register slightly different. And another thing, when you are playing on an iPad Pro, you slow down from 120 frames per second to 50 frames per second in tournaments. So things that you think will kill people sometimes don't because you're trying to swipe it across the screen and you're actually moving slower than you're used to. And uh, that's a problem. But right here, I am low and trying to heal. I know that there's three guys right there because of my teammates' callouts, and I am able to get the double kill. Jules does kill me, but he is very low for my rocket as well. That rocket came up clutch right at the end of the game, and we needed it. So we know Jules is very low on the right side, and we are just waiting for the rest of them to come. We know the guy is on the ramp where our teammate is shooting. We do end up double teaming him, and he does die to Jose's uh, Quicksilver. And Jose does get the last kill on the right side. And we did end up camping a little bit at the end. And uh, it's a thing. It happens. But, hey, a win's a win. And only one of these is TDM, so you can't camp on them all. 
Huge shout out to Jules getting 10 kills, 170 something points, almost bringing his team to victory. I had a lucky rocket, but we are going to go to A-side, me and Jose, to start this one off. And there is a guy here. We shoot him once. We end up getting killed by the second guy that went to that side, and uh, that didn't work out. But my teammate does kill him. I get a critical assist. Thank you, Jose, for making me look good at least. And his uh, link to his Facebook where he will live stream not only Gob, but COD Mobile and other things, I'm sure. Uh, also, Mussolini's YouTube channel will be down there, so go check out Jose and Mussolini's stuff. They do great. And right there, I do end up dying, but we do go ahead and kind of control B a little bit. They are going to take it back by the time we do respawn, and we are going to go towards the middle. He is low there, and I switch guns like a moron, but Jose does come up clutch, getting the triple. I'm going to try to make sure that we do capitalize and do get the B-Hill off of this. We are halfway there. I do get hit by a rocket that I did not see coming. Great job on his part to do that. But Zlatan does end up getting the hill anyways. We are almost all the way there when they are able to kill our last guy. They go for A-Hill. I'm going to allow B to just be how it is. Rob is low there. We're going to push out and make sure that we can kill the guy there. And we have a guy going to recap B, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to maintain A and only focus on this. I'm not really worried about the rest of it because we did get B back and we have Jose over there to keep it safe. So I am able to get it and we are going straight out. I'm going to rocket B for my teammates. We do get them low there and we push up into the B hill trying to get the cap here. But there are people from both sides. I do just my best to be able to get one of them. But Jules is so good with that Orion, man. He's great at judging his distances. And I knew that he was never going to let me get close enough with my Berserker to hurt him. So that's why I turned to the right to kill the other one. And right here, I do end up helping our teammate with that one. I get flashed and just destroyed. Again, he is so good with that Orion. Uh, I think he is probably the best in the world that I aim off Orion. But other people say Kunza is... Uh, I'm open to whatever. But right here, we come out the gate, Rob. I am not able to do anything against him after those first two shots. I do luckily regain my composure and just go for that one body shot. I know that he didn't need much damage to take, so I wasn't really worried about doing much more than that. And Jules, again, showing that he does work. He kills me again. And if you want to watch his stuff, his link will also be in the description to his channel. He's been live streaming. We're trying to get him to 1,000 subscribers. He is one of the best players in the world, if not the best. And I highly recommend you go check his stuff out. And again, we're coming out and we are using the machine gun spec, guys. That is the best thing to rush on pro play for Hill, I have found. So every time you use a heal, you end up gaining immediate armor. And your armor goes up by 30%. And... You uh, basically heal for hitting people with grenades. All kinds of stuff gives you new armor. And you basically just play everything else like normal. Um, the machine gun rush spec is really good. At the end of this video, I will show you guys the perks I use for this. And it also allows you to have a free, which will help you against things like incinerator, um, porcupine, and ranger. So it's very good for pro play. I do end up killing that guy there, and I'm going to go to the middle to try to help my team out. We get the double there, and I do end up running out of ammo, but I'm able to get Jules to no armor and flash him. My teammates come up with their Orions, and they clutch it out. We are getting the three caps, so we can start to make this comeback here. It is a little bit late in the game to start actually playing good, but, I mean, uh, I don't know, I'm a late bloomer sometimes. You don't know. <laughs> Right here, I do see both guys over here. We end up getting them both and gonna go to B to try to just stop this guy from being able to take it. But again, Jules knows how to get his distance on you with that Orion just perfectly. And he comes up so clutch there, doing a great job to back up and lead me into his kill zone. And it works. And I'm gonna go B, just trying to stop him from getting points. Right here, any points they get basically ends the game. And there's two in here. They're both low. My teammates are going. And, uh, and at this point, there's not too much you can do. And the next game is going to be a Paradise Island hill. And uh, we're pretty excited about it. One to one, going to the last game of the North American Finals. And uh, you don't want to miss this one, guys. Jules, 17 
kills 717 points he loves the number 17 it's got to be his favorite and he does a great job of carrying his guys i'll show you what he did in every other game he did so good in every game in this tournament okay guys here we go paradise island last game of the north american finals and we're gonna go straight out we see a guy on the left and up in the middle we tell our teammates about it they say there's a guy in the middle so i'm gonna basically hide from the guy on the left and shoot the guy in the middle i get the double kill we get the guy on the right side low and we know he's coming on our right side and we're just focused on getting the hill right here we get the third kill the last guy's in the middle with no armor we capped the hill before we died as well so that's always good and our teammate does get him to no health doing a great job over here we have jose getting the double this guy is the one shot we kill him and we do rocket the other guy going in the middle he's got no health we're gonna worry about the guy over in the middle and not the guy that we got low because our two teammates will get the guy that got low it's all about being selfless and doing what's best for the team not necessarily what's best for your kills and right there jules doing a great job to stay back and get me with the orion I wanted to make sure that I pushed out and died fast enough so I could respawn and help my teammates with the hill. And uh, I was hoping to do a little bit more damage when I died, but I mean, as long as I died fast, that's really what was important there. And right here, my teammates, we know there are two up the middle and one going on the right side. And I'm basically just sitting here trying to get the hill, not poke out. And th that's all that was important there is that I get the hill. My teammate pushes in their spawn and keeps them occupied. We know that there's one in our back right, and there's going to be one coming to me on the hill. I do end up dying before I can hurt him, because Jules just shoots me straight up the middle with his icebreaker. Doing a great job, but we are in a commanding lead here, and just a commanding presence in the game, really. And what I want to do is I want to do my best to start shooting these guys, and I get the guy on the right right here. And I'm going to go up the middle. I do end up killing the second guy, all with no health doing a great job to abuse my machine gun spec armor and just ability to live like crazy with this like it's so good to rush with machine gun spec uh, again after this i will show you guys the perks i used and it helped us so much to where i can live through things and they're so busy trying to kill me that my teammates just have free reign to kill them while they try to kill me and it works so perfectly and i get a triple kill elimination on jewels right there to get us up by 200 points only need 300 to go they need 500 and the biggest thing is a lot of teams will lose right here because what they're gonna do is they're gonna worry so much about like oh we need to maintain this lead that they're gonna basically just give it to the other team so the biggest thing is to be like okay guys let's keep pushing up doing what we did to get here and right here i'm just trying to get my shotgun out i'm not able to but he is low enough so my teammate can go up there and kill him. Doing a great job to kill him and push them back into their spawn. Right here we have commanding lead with the hill. And the biggest thing we need to do is make sure that we have Jose sniping him and getting him low. And just everyone else rushing and putting pressure on. We get the two guys middle low and kill them. And there's only one guy alive right there. They do a great job to kill him. And we only need 60 more points. Again, we're just saying, hey, keep pushing up. Do what we did to get this far and keep dominating. We do end up getting more kills and more kills and more kills. And I do get the one kill to end the game. Victory. North American Finals. Game three is a, a victory. I get first place MVP and I didn't camp, so... Don't say I can't, except for the one time. And on to the perks. So guys, I'm using Ballistics Mask, which gives you 30% less headshot damage taken. Jockey Pants, which gives you 25% of your armor back every time you get a kill. And here's the perks. Tank increases your armor by 30%. And Marauder, armor restores by 8% per hit with offensive consumables. And... Patchwork. Defensive consumables restore 15% more armor, and this includes like things like health pills will increase an immediate 15% of your armor. 
And this one here, offensive consumables have a 50% chance of setting the enemy on fire and doing an additional 20% damage over 5 seconds. And there's really nothing else you can do in that machine gun spec that doesn't involve an actual machine gun, which you never want to have to use. So that's pretty much just what you have to use. <laughs> but those perks are why we won that game. And I just figured I'd show you guys. And uh, it's really nice. Also, those are not my perks. All my perks are trash compared to that. But in tournaments, you get max perks. So it's it's nice. I hope to see some of you guys in the TRF tournament tomorrow. But I also want to show Jules getting 14 kills. 18 kills. And 411 points. 14 kills, 343 points. So good. Jules has got to be the best player in the game right now. Over here, we're trying to get his channel to 1,000 subscribers. He's doing tons of videos and stuff. I recommend Orion Kill Fury Frag Movies. I will put the link to that in the description as well as his channel, as well as Jose's and Mussolini's channel. Go check these guys out. Show them some support. And I hope to see you guys in the TRF tournament later today. And I will have the Brazilian tournament out as soon as possible, probably tomorrow or the next day. Either way, it's going to be a fun one as well. And thank you to Mix for letting me play with them today. It was fun, guys.